Senator Lindsey Graham said during an interview that the Israeli government will be making a request to the United States for $1 billion. The aid will be to replenish the Iron Dome air defense system used to intercept rockets fired at the country. Graham told Fox News, There's going to be a request made tomorrow, I think, or Thursday, by the Israelis to the Pentagon for a billion dollars in aid to replenish the Iron Dome batteries that were used to protect Israel. The Iron Dome system played a critical role in the recent 11-day escalation in the conflict and intercepted thousands of rockets being fired at Israel. The news is in line with statements from both President Joe Biden and Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Biden said in a statement, The Prime Minister of Israel shared with me his appreciation for the Iron Dome system, which our nations developed together and which has saved lives of countless Israeli citizens, both Arabs and Jews. I assured him of my full support to replenish Israel's Iron Dome system to ensure its defenses and security in the future. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. will be replenishing Israel's Iron Dome interceptors. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. This recent conflict began on May 10, 2021 and has been the most vicious since the 2014 conflict. Hamas and Islamic Jihad launched 4,369 rockets of various sizes and range from Gaza toward Israel. As per Israel Defense Forces IDF, nearly two-thirds of these missed their target, hitting fields and other open areas, or malfunctioning and falling short. So about 1,500 rockets headed for populated areas. As per IDF, more than 90% of the rockets were intercepted by Iron Dome. The barrage resulted in only a dozen deaths on the Israeli side. The effectiveness of the Iron Dome has once again been proven and the missile defense system continues to provide a sense of security. Iron Dome has helped protect Israeli people who were previously under constant threat for more than a decade now and has been very successful at it. It gained worldwide recognition with its ability to shoot down low-range projectiles with excellent precision. The Iron Dome weapon system is the lowest layer of Israel's multi-layered air and missile defense umbrella. It's a mobile, all-weather air defense system developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries. While Iron Dome is primarily a CRAM counter rockets, artillery, and mortar system, it can be used to protect against drones too. According to the country's defense forces on May 17th, Israel's Iron Dome air defense system had intercepted a drone belonging to Hamas, a first for the platform. Iron Dome consists of three components – radar, battle management component, and missile launcher. The system uses the radar to detect incoming projectiles. The radar tracks the projectile and sends information to the battle management component. The battle management component examines where the incoming projectiles will hit and if the area of impact is estimated to fall in its purview, it commands the missile launcher to fire interceptors to neutralize the target in midair. Iron Dome has a first-of-its-kind multi-mission launcher that's designed to fire a variety of interceptor missiles. The interceptor is chosen depending on the threat. Iron Dome's Tamir interceptor missiles can strike down incoming threats launched from ranges of 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers to 44 miles or 70 kilometers. Tamir missile is equipped with electro-optical sensors and steering fins with proximity fuse blast warheads. Each Iron Dome battery includes three to four stationary launchers 
with 20 Tamir missiles and a battlefield radar. A single battery can defend up to nearly 60 square miles. Iron Dome is considered to be the most used missile defense system. Ten Iron Dome batteries protect Israel. This is not the first time Israel has been hit by an attack of this character. Hamas is aware of Iron Dome's capabilities. This is why Hamas has resorted to a large-scale barrage. This was designed to saturate the Iron Dome system. While Iron Dome has held its own, even this time, it has limitations. Each Tamir interceptor used by Iron Dome has a reported unit cost of $40,000 to $100,000, while the rockets flung by Hamas militants will be a fraction of this cost. Iron Dome will need to be reloaded with new interceptors after attacks. Iron Dome is funded and produced, in large part, by the U.S. government and contractors. Viewers may note that the U.S. had signed a deal in September last year for the procurement of two Iron Dome batteries. Iron Dome will be deployed to defend important military assets like air bases against aerial threats. The systems delivered are specifically customized as per American requirements. American support for Israel is massive including billions of dollars in aid and diplomatic backing of international forums. President Joe Biden and Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the U.S. will be replenishing the system as part of their commitment to Israel's right to self-defense. But there are deeper reasons. These include America's ideological attachment to an embattled democracy and common interest in fighting jihadism. Military cooperation ranged from joint development of defense platforms as well as intelligence sharing. The United States also maintains military equipment inside Israel. Though the equipment is owned by the United States and is for use by American forces in the Middle East, but can also be transferred to Israel in case any warlike situation presents itself. It will be fair to say that in case Israel faces an external threat, America will put its weight behind it and this is what's prompting the U.S. government to take this step.